You're hoping as a team that you guys accomplish in those next couple of days? Uh, just a lot of film watching, a lot of communicating, um, you know, just watching a lot of our uh, you know, possessions where we could have been better down the stretch and throughout the game, uh, the games that we've played. Uh, you know, so it's, it's just really important that we utilize this time before we go on this, you know, 10-day road trip. You know, five good teams. I think they have five teams that are, you know, pretty good in our league. And just great test on, on the road to, to go on the, uh, you know, on the road trip for that long. And uh, just great team building. But you want to prepare before you go on that trip. Speaking of that trip, what is it like going on a long West Coast trip with teammates? <laughs> You do the best you can. Um, obviously, it's nothing like being home, but you know that's really where you come together as a group, and you know you want to come out with a winning record. Um, you know, you just take those uh, opportunities to be playing on other other uh, organizations' floors, or you know, going against some other good guys in our league. Some great matchups up ahead. You know, you just look forward to that challenge. Um, and just really use the time to, to really build uh, you know, team camaraderie, obviously spending some time in the cities and just, you know, all we have is each other. You know, obviously, um, yeah, we have our significant other sometimes on the trips, but, you know, for the most part, it's, it's just us. So just that, use that time that to continue. Quarter. Okay, thanks for letting me finish my answer, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you good. Go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> it seemed like they get it down to four or five, you guys get it back up to your nine. Mm -hmm. Did you ever feel like, okay, that's finally it that we we, you know, we had control again, or they just kept coming from there. I think, uh, you know, I could speak for a lot of people that were watching. Also, you know, while I was out there playing that, once Brandon Ingram kept, you know, making some of those tough layups, it was just kind of taking, uh, you know, some of the momentum away from, uh, you know, some of the possessions that we had. Uh, but, you know, great players are going to make great shots, and that's what we continued to do. We kept running, pick, and roll, and we just had to keep executing and, um, you know, just stay together as a team and make sure that we weren't, um, you know, giving them any easy opportunities like we did in the third quarter or some, some of them in the fourth quarter, um, you know, or other past fourth quarters. So we just wanted to utilize that um, just to kind of get our breath, get our minds right, really, you know, get the shots that we want down the stretch. Kyrie, can you describe what your focus was in that closing run? Uh, you made a lot of, you s seemed to be focused on playmaking, and even when guys didn't hit the shots, uh, you know, it kept... It, it kept the offense in gear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's a part of my responsibility is just, you know, getting in that paint. I draw so much attention, um, you know, being able to see that weak side. You know, guys are putting a triangle on me when I'm driving left or driving right. So, um, you know, that's part of the evolution of my game is just being able to make those plays as, uh, you know, as often as I can, whether I'm scoring or whether, you know, someone's getting a, a wide open shot. You just got to trust it, continue to trust that the basketball guys will reward you for you know, making the right play, and um, I think they did that for us tonight. And is there a sense that this team needed that result after Detroit? Oh, man, I mean, <laughs> you know, three and four nights is never easy. Um, no back-to-backs in this league is easy. We don't want to make any excuses, but, uh, you know, we, we obviously wanted to come out and win this game and, and really, you know, put a put a statement down for the rest of the week before we go on this long road trip. So it was good. You know, we had a intense focus. I know you could feel it out there. I was really just trying to create uh, great energy with the basketball throughout the game and get to the free throw line and just create op easy opportunities for myself and my teammates. Kyrie, were you aware of, that you broke a record tonight in that's history? No. Uh, apparently through the first seven games of the season, you now have scored more points than anybody in any other net ever. And in terms of points, rebounds, and assists, you the only other person with a higher average is Oscar. Does that mean anything to you when you hear that? Uh, you know, I'm happy to go down as another Irving in the Nets history. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great thing, and uh, you know, you know, I'm gonna continue to say it, but it's a, it's a dream come true. You know, since I was in fourth grade, you know, I left the NBA Finals game, went home and rode on sheet rock, and um, you know, now to be going in Nets history, I'm always appreciative of you know different records you break, but obviously doing it at home, it, you know, it's just a different feeling. Um, but obviously, I know the important goals ahead, and you know that's something that just goes into the accomplishment book that I'm very grateful for. Yeah. Did you think of the ball movement tonight? I mean, six guys in double figures and give a starter to basket. You know, and how do you think you guys attributed? Ah, uh, man, I think that we were just taking advantage of the defensive schemes. You know, they were up to touch on my pick and rolls um, pretty often. So, um, you know, until that skip pass or hitting it on the late uh, in terms of Jared rolling or DJ rolling um, or guys getting cuts on the, on the backside. It really helped us a lot um, in terms of our offensive schemes. You know, it was just, 
we were playing the defense really well and making great decisions. Um, although the third quarter was 48 points, I mean, <laughs> not gonna get, you're, not, you're not gonna get too many. You're not gonna get too many, you know, kind of misses that, that you got that we got tonight. But um, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. But uh, yeah, we did a great job just executing, man. Kyrie, you've been talking about your new signature shoes as a representation of one community. That it's either all of us or none of us. Is that a message you carry over to the court with your teammates, even as so much attention has been solely focused on you from defenses and the media alike? Uh, I mean, that's just part of my purpose that I fulfill, you know, within my craft and, and what I do for a living. Uh, you know, obviously it could, it could be a little, uh, you know, confusing some of the long-winded answers I give. Um, but, you know, I do believe in one community. It is all of us or none of us. And like I said, I believe in world peace. But when I'm here, you know, out there on the competitive floor, I just want the best for my teammates. And I want to go out there and compete and really put on a show and enjoy the game that I've been working so hard to, to be able to be great at. So, um, you know, you try to have find a balance between both of, of what you're, you know, believing and what you stand for and then also being able to play a game and create an art that you love to do. So just find that balance in, in my in my creative uh, input outside of the game and then just bring it into the game. So just trying to find that balance. Kyrie, you talked about well, long, 48 points in the third. I mean, what mm-hmm. is the concern level with the defense and the turnovers you guys have had on offense? Say that one more time. I'm oh, sorry. Um, you know, the defense giving up 48 points. What is your concern level there? And then with the turnovers uh, on offense, I think you guys were like 23 or 24. Now. Man, um, you know, just, that's just really just the, uh, you know, one of our uh, key points that we got to go over for in practice is really those possession by possession games where we come out and start the third quarter and Brandon Ingram gets an M1. You know, I I think you you everyone here has watched a lot of basketball. When someone starts off getting an one, you know, in the beginning of the third quarter, or shoots a three pointer, and gets free throws, you know, that quarter is going to be pretty special for them. Just it's just great players. They just they get that going. They get that that edge. And I think that happened for Brandon Ingram tonight, where he got it going, and then other guys picked up, and they started picking up their pace. Josh Hart got involved. Um, a few of their guys went down, but the other young guys really came in and made an impact on the game in that third quarter. So. Just got to be prepared for whatever the game brings, you know, and being able to uh, manage a lead with, you know, with maturity. That really what it, what it comes down to. So it's going to take time, but, um, you know, staying with them, staying patient with my teammates is all it's going to take.